Good morning, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the Den of Iniquity that is Ken Shaving and BSing, home of your Big Shave Best Champion. And I'm breaking out the Hot Rod shirt for no reason except it's there. And uh, always remember Rowdy Roddy Piper. I know he sort of gifted Rhonda the, the gimmick, and it's, uh, that's a true story. Uh, but still, it's always a classic. So today's shave is going to be Art of Shaving Lavender Soap. I got this from David Munoz. Now this is the uh, P&G buyout version. As I understand, the circle around the logo means it's the buyout. So I believe it's a it's a non-tallow vegan formula. And I just happen to have, God, I've had these for years, um, lavender pre-shave oil and the aftershave balm and little kits with a little travel cream. So I have these available and I got... Yesterday, I didn't shave Sunday, and yesterday I did a cart because uh, I needed a quick shave. I wanted to get to work early, and my face had taken some abuse. I noticed like an odd scratch or cut line. Very, I don't know how I got it, and I just wanted to give my skin a break. So a quick cart shave uh, was something really slick just to knock off some, some growth and went into work. But today, back to it. We're going back to the uh, Rockwell 6C on the R3 plate, if we can get it in focus there. Not focus, but lighting. And we're going to use the Nathan Clark uh, 25mm Tuxedo Fan Knot in the Big Shave West 3 handle. Cup of uh, distilled water. Now, just for those knows how much little water I use, I mean, I've got this thing maybe a quarter to a third full. So it's really about up to the top. The top of my finger is about where the water level height is. So it tells you with the synthetic, you do not need a lot of water. So I've got the tap warmed up. So it's a lavender shave, and we're gonna finish it off with the fine lavender pour home, lavender for men. Um, slightly different scent, but still a, uh, a really good lavender scent. Use a little pre-shave oil just to, there's a little bit left, there we go. Just to help the beard along. and protect the skin a little. And David Munoz, my good brother, sent me this in the in the wooden bowl. So you know this is not a cheap purchase from Artist Shaving, a soap in the bowl. But uh, I kind of know how he may have gotten it. So. <laughs> He's people who knows people. But anyway, um, it's a great scent. You know, I have the sandalwood and the old tallow version, which is fantastic. So we'll get the brush loaded here. Smear on some excess paint on. I tell you, I started out watching Ken surfs. I so I watched his last video with Barbus. And I forgot from where he got it. <laughs> and then I started watching since he shaver for a bit. And then uh, I just want to put on some music, man. So I put on Foo Fighters, and I tell you, up tempo Foo Fighters is great workout music on the elliptical. And I wrapped up with a little Iron Maiden Speed of Light from the Book of Souls. Uh, we may need more, more water here. Let's see. And I saw them in concert this past summer and old guys can still go. <laughs>
I don't care what y'all listen to nowadays. You're not going to get as good a show as bands that are still around and got over either their demons or never had demons. I, mean, I saw Metallica. I saw Maiden. I've seen Styx before. Or right, Speedwagon's kind of annoying because Kevin Cronin talks more than I do between songs and Jesus. Apparently they're family somehow, in-laws, I don't know. They're both from Chicago, I know that. The two bands. Okay, pretty good soap, but many of you have heard and the old AOS formula was better than the current, but the scent stayed true, I will say that. Scent's not very strong off the puck. It's a, it's a mild lavender. Let's get a little more of my mustache here. And it's still pretty good. All right, get the blade warmed up. I got a, uh, oh, by the way, Jasper Grins, we're already six minutes in. Uh, new Gillette Platinum. It's on the R3 plate. <laughs> All right. Nice. Now this is one of Rudd's go-to blades. As you see, he he did a he did a video about that leaf razor, and they sell their own blades. Now the good news is, oh, I emailed them because I was curious. I mean, sometimes you want a quicker shave than with a DE, depending on how close you can get. They use crystal blades, although they repackage them. But they're you know the Israeli persona, the crystals like I have that come in like the ten pack, which are really good blades in my opinion, at least for me they are, and. That's good that they're using a solid blade. After his video, I emailed them just curious and they got back to me pretty quickly, like within the next day, you know, because it was later in the evening when I emailed them. So it was a good response turnaround. And they told me they were the crystals or the Israeli personas, so they, they know from where they're speaking. You can probably get, because I got a 120 pack. I would say I bought them off of Amazon. I got them for dirt cheap. I mean, they were still over 10 cents a blade, but they were a really good price. Can't remember at the time what the purchase price was, but they're good blades. They're not throwing in some cheapo, you know, blades. You can get crystals, or you can use whatever, I mean. But it's nice to know the blade, the baseline blade is a good blade. I don't know if Red saw my comment, I was asking him what he used. So he used his Platinums or Silver Blues. Or if you went with the crystals, that if it came with the blades. I mean, it's $75. The construction looks good. I mean, there's something to consider. Yeah. If you want perhaps that faster shave, but I mean, one of the real problems with the the cartridge razor is not so much like you're dragging as all those blades against your skin. That is one, depending on your skin type. But the function of the two plus two plus blade razor since they started, and you know the old Gillette commercials will tell you that. Or you watch, uh, I'd rather be shaving with Douglas and Matt Pisarsic. Uh, yeah, this lather isn't really good. 
Man, let's go back to the puck here, get some water. This is, you gotta, it's really load this brush. It's kind of disappointing, it's a little thin. So I hate to say it, but New York didn't want to fall into my, my plans this year. So I'm sorry I'm going to miss you guys this coming weekend, the third. Um, I should have just booked it, but my, I don't know. I mean, it would have been an expensive trip. But I think I'm definitely going to book Big Shave East. But I need to make New York um, eventually. Maybe 2019 or if there's something in late 2018 that's in the cards. But I, I, wasn't, I haven't been in the greatest mood with work and stuff, so I gotta, I'm gotta. i focusing on that. I wanna get better with the way it's going. That's part of it, just yeah, I'm a little whinging along, you know. But. I think, uh, I think the end of June is a good time. Give me a chance to get back in a little better shape too. And, Really enjoying this <laughs> shave right now. Oh yeah, I was just watching uh, Nomeo Shaves. Lee, Leroy Jenkins! Ah. <laughs> He's still in Europe. And I'll Lee, if you catch this, I'm going to do you a favor real quick. Because you're... You consider you're, you're looking at the aqua velva that's over there, so hang on a sec once I finish this mustache. Okay, so you know what? I may just pick up the neck today and leave it at that. But let's talk Aqua Velva for a second. So here's current American, and here's the stuff that comes from uh, Spain. Yeah, from Unilever España. So. This is made Combe Incorporated White Plains, New York. I wonder if it's a uh, part of the Unilever family. But the American version, here's the ingredients. SD alcohol 40B, water, glycerin, fragrance, menthol, 
Let's see, benzophenone one. I don't know if it's extraviolet number two and blue one. Okay, so there's your ingredients for American aquavella. Now here is a Spanish aquavella. Aqua denatured alcohol, glycerin, menthol, parfum, lenolol, PEG 40, hydrogenated castor oil, lemonine, coumarin, um, hydroxycitronilol, alpha isomethyl ionon, Avernia fufferacea extract, citrol, geraniol, uh, benzyl benzoate, hexyl uh, cinnamonol, citronellol, benzyl alcohol, CL42090, and CL172000, which are probably colors. So a lot different, uh, a lot of different um, ingredients in there versus the American stuff that's in the plastic bottle off the shelf. So let's uh, pick up the neck here. So there's your ingredient list, uh, Lee. If you get back to a store, pull up this video and uh, check it out. So if it reads like the, the second bottle, the Williams Unilever one that I got from Douglas, um, then get that stuff over there. Well, I mean, unless you get it from Douglas, I don't know where else you're going to find it. All right, we're gonna stop here. So I keep that face. I'm gonna let that dry out there. All right. No, nope, need that. So. All right, let's do the uh, Allen block here. Extremely minimal feedback. There is feedback, but I just dragged a blade across my face. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> but, man, nice and smooth. Plate three, new, new good blade, platinum, uh, Tree tool, I haven't used a lot. I've actually given a couple away. But, good blade. Just uh, taking off some of that alum. My little cheek blemish went away, thank God, right here. Piss me off. Oh wait, that was stupid, pause. It hit me, it hit me. I was going for the Thayers. I'm like, wait a minute, I've got lavender <laughs> Thayers. Might as well go whole hog, right? And it is uh, alcohol free in this case. So this is alcohol free toner. With aloe vera, of course, for some moisturizing and healing. Then we'll go fine lavender pour home for the homies, for the men. And put some moisture back in, a little. 
AOS aftershave balm. If that video paused again, let me know right around the 20 second mark. Because it's, I don't know if it's my internet or something, but there's some weird freezing going on. I don't know if it's catching in the recording or it's just my, just something that isn't there. But make a comment if you, right around the late 19 into the 20, 20 minute mark. All right. And we're going to stop here, kids. Thanks for watching, as always. That was the Art of Shaving Newer Puck Lavender in the bowl from my good brother David Munoz. Art of Shaving Pre-Shave Oil Aftershave Balm. There's Alcohol-Free Toner Lavender. Fine Lavender Pour Homme. The Nathan Clark uh, Big Shave West 3. I believe it's a this aluminum handle with a 25 mil tuxedo fan nut. And the Rockwell um, R3 plate R6S with a Gillette Platinum. Thanks for watching. Be safe, dry safe, don't drink and drive. Watch out for school zones and school buses. Cheers. And I will see you uh, tomorrow for the next video. The shave was very nice. Uh, different brush, probably the same hard, probably the same razor and blade. And uh, obviously we're going to use a different soap, but it's smelling really good right now. So that's going to be a good feeling the rest of the day. Take care. Love you all. Good brothers, good sisters. Be good to each other.